In this video, I'm quickly going to show you how to set up your brand new PSVR 2 PC adapter. Then we'll run through some of the myriad of problems I encountered and how I solved them. Then I'm going to play some games that really showcase just how good the PSVR 2 is and talk about why I think Sony's VR headset and the PC adapter is a beautiful disaster. Please fasten your seatbelts as we may hit some turbulence during our flight. Roll titles and remember, we're born to respawn. This is Sony's new PSVR 2 PC adapter. It allows you to play all your SteamVR games on your PSVR 2. There's a handy little barcode on the box. Scan that and it'll give you full instructions on how to set up your adapter. So I'm going to talk about what is in the box. More importantly, what is not included in the box. Then go through the setup procedure. Setup. The minimum specs for your PC are Windows 10 or above, Intel i5 or AMD Ryzen 3, 3100, 8GB of RAM, DisplayPort 1.4, USB 3, Bluetooth 4 or above, and Nvidia GTX 1650 or AMD RX 5500 XT or above. We'll get back to the Bluetooth later as that is where people seem to be having the most trouble. The PSVR2 PC adapter costs £49.99 in the UK. Open the box and you have the adapter box, a power supply and a stupidly short USB 3 cable. So far, so good. What isn't included in the box, however, is a DisplayPort 1.4 cable, which you do need to connect to your PC's graphics card. You can pick one up from Amazon, easy enough. I got this JSOX 2 meter DP cable for £12, but the price is starting to escalate. You will also need a Bluetooth adapter of some sort. Sony recommend these four Bluetooth dongles, which vary in price from £12 to £20 in the UK. I had a fairly new TP-Link AC1200 internal PCIe Bluetooth card, so I thought it would be okay, but more on that later. Plug it all in, then download the PSVR 2 app from the Steam store. Don't worry, it's free. If it's your first time using your PSVR 2 Sense controllers on your PC, you need to pair them using Bluetooth. Open the app, click Get Started, then Next, then open Bluetooth settings on the left controller, press PS and Create button. On the right controller, press the PS and Options button until the status indicators blink rapidly. When they pop up in the Add Device window, just click to connect and you are done. Turn on your headset, you will be asked to scan the room, set the floor height and play space. Open the SteamVR app and pop your PSVR 2 back on. You should see the SteamVR home with all your games listed. Easy, eh? Well, no, because this is where things began to spiral out of control for me. And judging by the reaction of many people online, I was not alone in my frustration. I know that Ian Higton from Eurogamer and my good friend Paradise Decay also had a difficult journey getting PSVR 2 to work on their PCs. I fired up Half-Life Alex on one of my live streams and immediately started to get tracking issues with frequent disconnects until eventually the Sense controllers gave up completely and wouldn't reconnect. Luckily, I had a third-party Bluetooth dongle knocking about, so I plugged that in, then attempted to repair the Sense controllers, and at that point... My troubles began in earnest. The Sense controllers connect to your PC via Bluetooth, but Sony are very vague about connectivity and compatibility apart from the recommended four dongles that I mentioned earlier. My problem was that depending on which controller I connected first, I would then get random controller freezes on the other one. The PC knew they were connected, but I lost sixed off function. It caused huge amounts of headaches when trying to play games like Half-Life Alex and Into the Radius 2. Plus, repairing or reconnecting the controllers was very random and, again, hugely frustrating. Sim racing wasn't a problem, as I have a full Fanatec sim ridge, which you don't need controllers for, but anything else was a massive pain in the ass. Before we get to my solutions, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. Please also consider subscribing and joining my channel membership for exclusive emojis, badges and game key giveaways on my members' Discord server. Thanks. Solutions. Firstly, the PSVR2 app is very sensitive to the sequence of opening Steam and powering on your headset. This is the sequence I use. Open Steam on your PC. Open the PSVR2 app. Turn on your headset and connect your controllers. Open Steam VR manually. Pop your headset on. When you have finished with your PSVR2, turn off the headset 
before closing the PSVR 2 app or you will encounter problems next time you want to use your headset. Second solution is to manually update your Bluetooth drivers. Do not rely on Windows. Go to your Bluetooth device manufacturer's website, download the appropriate driver and force the update. Third solution is if you're using a Bluetooth dongle is to use a USB extension cable to move your dongle as far away from your PC and as close to your play space as possible. Fourth solution is to open device manager, go to Bluetooth settings and disable Microsoft Bluetooth LE enumerator. Saying this, none of that worked for me. After eight days of struggling to find a solution and being very close to giving up on PSVR 2 and PC, I found a solution that worked for me. My final solution. Sounds ominous, but this is how I solved my problem. I removed the USB dongle and reinstalled my Bluetooth PCIe card, updated to the latest drivers, then bought one of these from Amazon, an 8-wood external Wi-Fi aerial extender. It basically replaces your card's aerials with a 2-meter extender that you can place closer to your play space. As soon as I installed this, everything snapped into place. My tracking is now flawless, and I'm a very relieved little VR bunny. PSVR 2 on PC. So, the burning question is, what is the PSVR 2 like on PC? As the title of this video suggests, it is a beautiful disaster. But, when you get it working, it's just beautiful. I've never experienced colours like it. Blacks are pure black, the colours really pop, especially into the Radius 2 on PC. At night, staring up at the anomaly is an incredible experience. In my opinion, Half-Life Alex has never looked better. I did a full playthrough across several live streams and was very surprised how good it looked on my PSVR 2. Staring up at the vault at dusk, the colours and detail were mind-blowing. My favourite racing game is Automobilista 2, so I jumped into my favourite McLaren GT3 at Silverstone and was immediately blown away by the colours. Those OLED panels on the PSVR 2 are just mustard. The app did not like EAWRC at all and I have had a few crashes and random freezing. Plus, there are important features of the PSVR 2 that are missing or not being utilised. They are the headset haptics and the eye tracking and foveated rendering. Currently, these are not available for the games you play on PC. Fingers crossed, this is just teething problems and future updates will iron out any bugs. If Sony support the PC adapter going forward and with their track record, it is not guaranteed. As always though, what do you think? Have you tried the PSVR 2 PC adapter? Have you had any problems? Are you thinking of buying one now or are you sticking with your current headset? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. Plus, if you enjoyed this content, you could join my channel membership like these lovely people did. You get custom badges, emojis, and an exclusive members only channel on my Discord. If you want to watch more content from my channel, you can click here or here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.